Today we're going to talk about the Big Tree Tech SKR version 1.3 and we're going to talk about the TMC 2208 with UART enabled on the board by default. This is also made by Big Tree Tech. So I'm going to show you how to actually do a basic installation of it. So the first step that we need to do because the board is in the default mode that you would receive it is we're going to do it for the X stepper and the Y stepper. We're going to do the Z stepper with a DRV8825 just to show the contrast between the stepper drivers. Now keep in mind the advantage to this stepper driver is that you can control it electrically via the pins. And the other advantage over other boards is that you can plug it directly in and not run jumper wires to pins that you need to run it. So it's already integrated into the tracings on the board. So to set this up, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove these jumpers right here. So I'm gonna pop these out because they're not required for this particular stepper driver. I'm also gonna pop out the Y jumpers, and then I'm gonna pop these out to set up the DRV8825. So what we're gonna do for the DRV8825 is we're going to place a jumper here. This is gonna be between the red and the black. And then we're gonna do the red and the black a second time from the top. And then we're gonna do the third one right here. So we're all set with the jumpers for the DRV8825. Next, we have to move this into the program mode for USB. So it's these two pins on the right hand side. And then finally, we need to pop out these pins because we're not using them as jumpers at the moment because we're not using a TMC2130 with SPY. So we're gonna take these out. And before I go any further, I'm going to let you know that I actually purchased these with my own money. I'm not being sponsored by Big Tree Tech and no one is paying for this video, but I will be putting Amazon affiliate links in the tutorial summary so you can find these to purchase for yourself. So in order to install this, you have to find the enable pin, which is over here by my finger. And the enable pin is also over here for the stepper driver in this corner. But keep in mind they have a red marking and a black marking so you can install it correctly. So you're just gonna slide it in like so. Then you're gonna do the other one as well. And then finally you're gonna put the actual cooling fins on like so. This will allow it to wick away the heat. And then the DRV8825, we need to rotate over and find the enable pin, which we know is gonna be here. And we're gonna place this in this stepper configuration. So we're all set with the exception of we have to set our UART pins, which are the red ones down here. So this is the X UART, the Y UART, the Z UART, the E0UART, and the E1UART. So we need to place a jumper on the ones we're using, which is gonna be the XUART, and then we're gonna be placing one on the YUART right here. So we're all set. Next thing that we need to take care of in order to program this is we need to attach the USB connection for the big side on the SKR version 1.3 and they're in stable there's a drive already default installed excuse me with 120 megabits 
for the TF drive. This will function like a USB drive between these two things so that we could load the current firmware. And then finally, before we actually can program it, we need to attach the USB to our computer and you're going to hear a beep. Okay, to start with I want to show you that the TF drive currently has firmware on it and it's a cursor type file. I want you to make note of the actual time that you see here, which is, you know, about 10.07 p.m. last night. So now we're going to go over to Marlin inside Atom with Platform I.O. loaded. Now keep in mind, what I did is I went to the website and downloaded the actual software from Marlin's website and then unzipped it. And in order to load it, you have to go to File. And you have to open the complete unzipped folder for Marlin bugfix 2.0.x. So now we're going to go over to the Marlin subfolder here. And we're going to open up the source folder. And inside the source folder, we're going to click on core and we're going to open up boards.h. Now we're going to search on SKR. And inside here, Here's our board, it's board underscore big tree underscore SKR underscore V1 underscore three. So we're gonna copy that. Then we're gonna close out of core source and we're gonna close down boards.h. Next, we're gonna go over to configuration.h and we're gonna type control F and we're gonna search on motherboard. And what we have here currently is board underscore ramps underscore one four underscore EFB. So we're going to paste over that what we just copied. Then we're going to scroll up here to where it's serial port zero. And we're going to change that to negative one to ensure that our install works correctly. Next, we're going to search on A4988. And this brings us to where our stepper drivers are. In order to enable them, we have to remove the comment for the X driver. Then we're going to do the Y driver. We're going to do the Z driver. And we're going to do E0 just for good practice. Now, currently they say A4988 by default. So what we need to do is change that to our stepper type. So we're looking for the TMC2208. So we're going to copy that. We're going to paste it over the A4988 for the two stepper drivers that we have installed for the X and the Y steppers. So let me make a copy here real quick. Paste it here. And then this one is the DRV8825. So we're gonna copy that, and we're gonna paste it over the A4988, and we're gonna leave E0 alone. So now we're gonna see how to modify the DRV8825 because it allows you 1 32nd of a step versus the A4988, which gives you 1 16th. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna search on let's see default axis that's with an underscore between default and axis underscore steps and right here is where you would modify the z axis instead of 4000 it's going to be 8000 and these we're going to leave alone. Granted, keep in mind that the stepper for the TMC2208 has the ability to step from 1 16th all the way up to 1 256th of a step using interpolation. But I'll show you uh, where you can modify that in just a moment. So we're going to go over to the configuration underscore advanced dot h and now that we're in the advanced dot h file what we're going to do is we're going to search on eight hundred 
And this brings us to where we have our has trinamic. Now if you scroll up a little here, you can see that it says to use the TMC2208 stepper UART configuration stepper driver connect. And it talks about the serial pins and that you have to have a resistor and all that information that you would normally have to do with any other stepper driver that's not made by S or excuse me, made by the Big Tree Corporation for the TMC2208 UART configuration. It's already done for you on the SKR version 1.3 and it's wired into the board for you. So down here is where I was talking about you can change the steps. So right now it's default 16th of a step but it can go all the way up to 256th of a step. But we're gonna leave it alone for this moment. And we're gonna change the 800 just so we can lower the current to 600. Now keep in mind this is based on root mean square current. And they show you the uh, equation they use which is multiplied by 1.414. I'll let you look that up in the data sheet on your own but sticking with the defaults initially is helpful. So we're gonna leave this one changed, but we're gonna leave the Y axis as 800 so you can see the slight difference. And then the next thing that we're gonna search on is Stealth Chop. And what we have here, if you look up above here, is the option for the TMC2208 and what it does is right now we're in the default mode for our configuration of let me find it here for you stealth chop is currently what we're in but if we were to comment this out we would go into spread cycle which is a louder mode that runs on the chip so currently we're not using Stealth Chop for Z, so we're gonna comment that out by putting two forward slashes, like so. And then we're gonna find next the monitor driver status. So we'll look for, let's say, monitor driver and see if that gets us there. So it's monitor underscore driver, and it does. So we wanna use this functionality so what we're going to do is remove the comment so that we can use this right here for monitoring the driver status. And then finally we're going to search on TMC debug. And in order to use the G code command to check it, we're going to have to remove the comment so that we have pound define TMC debug. So that's all we have to do for the configuration.h and configuration advanced. Now you do have the ability to change up above thresholds for hybrid threshold mode. This is an advanced configuration that I'll let you try out on your own. All you have to do is remove the comment and it will allow you to increase the speed at which you move and the threshold is reached. So for now we're going to leave that alone because it's somewhat of an advanced topic and I don't want to cover it to make the tutorial way too long for you. So we're going to go over to platform io.ini and we're going to open that up. In order to program it we need to change our default environment. So it's environment or env underscore default. Currently it's configured for the mega AT Mega 2560, which is an 8 bit processor, and we're using a 32 bit processor. So we're going to scroll down here and we're going to find our chipset. And what it looks like is right here it's the LPC 1768. So we're going to copy that. We're going to scroll back up to Environment Default, and we're going to highlight this and paste the LPC 1768 above it. So in order to program now, what we need to do is we need to press the upload button 
and then we'll be prompted to save. And what will occur is that it will compile our changes and then upload them to the TF drive known as the USB drive on the SKR version 1.3. So here we go. Okay, now that the uh, install has completed, we can see that there's a firmware.cursor file like we had before from 10.07 p.m. last night. And today we have a firmware.bin file that just recently updated. So we're going to go over to Atom to confirm. So as you can see in Atom, if we go to Platform I.O., and we go to toggle build panel, we can see that the build was successful. So we're gonna go back to the USB drive. We're gonna remove it physically from the computer. Then we're gonna reinstall the USB drive to load our firmware when it powers up with the USB power. And as you can see, the time has been updated for the firmware cursor file. Okay, off camera, I connected the connectors for the NEMA stepper motors for NEMA 17. So they're right here for X, Y, and Z. I connected the power supply for positive and negative, and the power cords over here disconnected. And then finally, I need to remind you that these need to be cooled with a cooling fan. And if you watch my previous tutorial on the fan extender, that's one method you can use to keep these cool. So I'm going to plug this in. And I need to remind you to keep your hands away from the board because it's now energized with voltage and for your safety and the boards, do not touch it. Okay, I'm in the print run directory for Pronerface, so I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna connect to the board. As you can see, it says connected, and the printer is now online. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna type M122 to see what the status of the debug is. And as you can see, it says testing for the X and the Y connections are okay. So we're all set there. And that 600 change that I made for the current is reflected right here as the other one that I didn't change is right here. So I'm gonna go over to the Y axis and I'm going to move it 100 millimeters as far as we know for how it's currently calibrated and see if it moves correctly. So here we go. Now we're gonna go over to the X axis and we're gonna move it 100 and see if the 600 that we set for current is quieter. So let's see what happens. So it's slightly quieter. Now let's move the Y axis 10, or excuse me, the Z axis 10 millimeters and see what occurs. A little bit more quiet, which is okay, but it's not current controlled like the other steppers that we have used. So if you like my tutorial, please press the like button and subscribe and thank you for your time.